हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन सो स्टूडेंट्स आफ्टर कम्पलीटेशन ऑफ एक्सरसाइज 2.4 आवर नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज 2.5 हाउ वेल हैव यू लर्न अबाउट डेसिमल नंबर्स नाउ स्टूडेंट्स यू हैव लर्न अबाउट डेसिमल नंबर्स इन द अर्लियर क्लासेस लेट अस ब्रीफली रिकॉल हियर लुक एट द फॉलोइंग टेबल एंड फिल अप द ब्लैंक्स स्पेसेस नाउ स्टूडेंट्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट इज द decimal numbers look here here will come point before point the place values are ones tens hundreds and so on and after point it means right side the place values come tens hundreds thousands and so on so now look at here here is 2 5 3 1 4 and 7 now students point is here between ones and tens place value so the answer will be like that 253.147 okay now 6 2 9 3 2 1 obviously the point will be here so what will the answer you have to fill up here answer 629 Point three two one. So, students, in this way, you have to complete this table in your textbook only. No need to solve this in notebook. You have to fill up in textbook only. Now, exercise two point five. First question: Which is greater? First, zero point five or zero point zero five? First of all, look at here. Here is one decimal place, and here is two decimal place. By adding zero at the right side of zero point five, we can convert them into like decimals. So zero point five zero, and here is zero point zero five. Now compare. Here is five zero fifty, and here is zero five. So of course, zero point five zero is greater than zero point zero five. So which one is greater? Zero point five. Okay, students. In this way, you have to solve. Now second. 0.7 or 0.5 we can compare easily because one decimal place is there in both decimals so here is 0.7 and here is 0.5 so put the sign of greater than 0.7 greater than 0.5 next third one here is 7 or 0.7 so students of course 7 is greater because here is 0.7 it is a whole number and it is a decimal here we can zero as whole number okay so 7 greater than 0.7 now fourth one 1.37 or 1.49 so which one is greater this one so here will be less than 1.37 less than 1.49 now fifth 2.03 and 2.30 two decimal places are there So of course two point three zero is greater. So here is less than zero point eight or zero point eighty eight. So first of all convert into like decimals. So zero point eight zero and zero point eight eight. So zero point eight eight is greater. Okay, students. Now second question. Express as rupees using decimals. Let us solve this. So first, seven paise is equal to zero point zero seven rupees. And how it is possible? So recall the rule: rupees one is equal to hundred paise, right? Rupees one is equal to hundred paise. Then seven paise is equal to how many rupees? So students take seven upon hundred. Now convert them into decimal. So two decimal places are there. Next second seven rupees seven paise. Now students, first of all, write down seven rupees as it is because it is in rupees. Now seven paise. So convert seven paise into rupees. So seven paise is equal to rupees zero point zero seven as we have done in the first. So write down seven paise. Write down in place of it zero point zero seven rupees. Okay. 
Now seven plus zero point zero seven. So the answer will be rupees seven point zero seven. So students do addition between these two numbers and you will get answer rupees seven point zero seven. Now third one seventy seven rupees and seventy seven paise. So seventy seven rupees as it is seventy seven paise. Convert them into rupees. So divide by hundred. In hundred two zeros are there. So put the point after two digits. One two. The point will be here. Now rupees seventy seven plus zero point seventy seven. The answer will be seventy rupees seventy seven point seven seven. Next fourth one fifty paise. Convert it into rupees. Divide by hundred of course. Put the point after two digits. One two point. So rupees zero point five zero. Now fifth one two hundred thirty five paise. Convert it into rupees. Con divide by hundred. Put the point after two digit. One two point. So the answer will be rupees two point three five. So in this way you have to solve this sum. I hope you understood it. Thanks.